Well, as a hurricane or a tropical storm approaches the coastline, like we're watching Tropical Storm Gordon this evening, it's all about the storm direction and where you are in relation to that center of circulation. So if you happen to be at the beach, let's say, and Pensacola and we have something like Tropical Storm Gordon approaching the coastline as it is tonight to the northwest at 15 miles an hour. Uh, this front right maximum uh, hurricane impact, that's where we expect to see the greatest of the impacts as you have to combine not just the max sustained winds at 70, but also that forward motion. And it's all in this right front quadrant that gets the, uh, they get the major impact because you have to combine those two forces. So there's your 70 mile per hour winds, max sustained winds moving at 15 miles per hour. So it is quite possible that within this section as Gordon approaches the coastline, we could have 85 mile per hour winds. So even though uh, Gordon may remain a tropical storm, we could easily see some hurricane force winds to the northeast of the storm. And that's also we could see the largest waves. We could see some waves up to 10 feet in this northeastern quadrant as well. So it's always important to note exactly what side of the storm you're going to be on. The front left portion of the storm, you can often get the most significant storm surges as we're going to see the water pushed to the west away from that uh, center, that centermost point. So we could see the most water piling up there in New Orleans as it moves on shore this evening. Also, the right uh, rear uh, flank of the storm, quadrant of the storm, they won't see as strong of winds as they are going to see in the northeastern quadrant, but still significant and stronger than they're going to be here on the back left side of the storm. These are going to be the weakest of the winds, but still dangerous as they will be tropical storm force. And then you subtract that forward motion from the winds here. So if it's 70 miles per hour at landfall, that means it's going to be around 55 mile per hour winds in that southwest quadrant. So it's all about where you are in relation to that center of circulation. And one thing is for sure, we are approaching the peak of hurricane season. That is on September 10th, and we are fast approaching that peak and it's interesting that right now we're definitely seeing uh, everything become a lot more active. Of course, our season began on June 1st. The season will end on November 30th, so we need to get through these next few weeks where we typically see, according to climatology, the peak activity during hurricane season.